Hey guys, David from TheUnlocker.com and today I'm going to show you how you can root your HTC 10. So if you're not familiar with rooting, rooting is to Android what jailbreaking is to iPhones essentially. Uh, the big difference is that with Android you can flash entirely new versions of the operating system in very compact packages called ROMs. Basically what you can do is once you have root access you can then flash a custom recovery onto your phone and then use that custom recovery to then flash different versions of Android. It works in the same way or at least a similar way that the manufacturer would use to flash their own ROMs onto the phone. Say they need to restore a phone if it was broken hence recovery mode. Um, but instead we're going to after we have root access use that recovery mode to just flash whatever versions of ROMs that we want that aren't signed necessarily by the manufacturer. Now, in addition to flashing custom ROMs, which we'll get to later, you can also use root required apps that are in the Play Store. You can just type in root apps and you'll get a bunch of them there that normally you wouldn't be able to use. Uh, also, you can remove bloatware. Say you don't want to flash an entirely new custom ROM. Maybe you just want to remove some of the crappy carrier stuff that you have on your phone that's taking up space that you'll never use. Rooting can allow you to do that as well. So, without further ado, Here's how to root your HTC 10. Okay, so first up, I'm using Windows for this tutorial, but you could easily use a Mac by downloading the Mac ADB setup uh, that I have linked below with the Windows one and just following the steps in terminal instead of command prompt and putting in the dot slash and all the other things you have to do in terminal versus command prompt. Now also, this is going to erase everything on your phone. So please make sure that you back up anything that you might need. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna gain S off, which will allow us to flash recovery and custom ROMs and all this other fun stuff. Now you can optionally do this, or you can actually go to HTC's website and unlock the bootloader officially. So that's up to you. I prefer this method, but you know, you can click the link below and be taken to the other method. Either way, when you're done with this, everything is going to be the same after that. So I'm going to go on the phone, go to settings, and then scroll down to security. Scroll down until we see unknown sources, and we're gonna turn that on. Hit okay. After that, you're gonna put in the bit.ly link that I have listed for you below to get Sunshine, which is gonna be the program I'm gonna to use to get us off. Uh, if you scroll down, you'll find a download link that we can tap. We're gonna click allow if it asks you for that, click okay, and wait for that to download. Once it says it's downloaded, you can pull down the notification shade and tap it. Tap install and wait for it to install. Once installed, we're gonna tap open. You'll get a warning saying that if you've already unlocked your bootloader, which is the other method I was talking about, that you shouldn't use this uh, and you need to do some other things. Since we didn't do that, we're going to just say, I agree, accept, okay, continue, and let it test the phone. Should have passed, we're gonna say next, temp root, and wait for it to do that. Then it'll tell you it got it, hit continue, and wait for it to finish this test. Okay, eventually it should tell you that it is compatible. And then you can tap buy to buy from the device. It costs $25 for Sunshine. Uh, we can pay with PayPal or however you want to pay. Otherwise, again, you can click the link below uh, to be taken to how to unlock the bootloader manually using HTC's own site, but they will only allow it on specific devices. So you, if you want, you can try that first. And then if that doesn't work, you can use this uh, and end up paying the 25 bucks. Uh, again, it is going to a good cause. These guys work really hard on this app. So up to you. If you decide to continue with this method, it's going to tell you that it needs to generate a license. So just wait for that to happen. It's gonna tell you uh, that you can have SF locked or SF unlocked. I'm gonna do SF locked because I just want SF and the locked bootloader doesn't matter so much to me. I'm gonna hit continue, let it run its final round of tests, and then the device will automatically reboot. Eventually once it reboots, you can swipe up to unlock and you'll go right back into Sunshine. Click agree, accept, wait for it to do its thing, click continue, and wait for it to do its thing. Once it's done, it'll just be completely powered down. So we're gonna hold down the power button, 
to turn it back on. So then after it reboots, we can just open the Sunshine app again, just to confirm that it says device is already off. Sunshine has nothing to do. Uh, so once it does that, you're all set. You don't need to reboot because we already did. But if you want to just do it again, just to be safe, you can, of course. But then we can set up ADB and Fastboot, which will allow our computer to talk to our phone, which we need it to do to then flash a custom recovery and finally to root the phone. So back on the phone, we're going to go to settings, scroll all the way down to about to firmware version, more, and we'll see build number here. We're gonna keep tapping that until it says you're a developer. We can hit back, back again, back again, and we'll see developer options, which we can now tap. Don't ask me again, I don't care, hit okay. And in here, we're gonna turn on USB debugging and click okay. Then you can click the link below this video to be taken to my site, where you can then click this link to how to set up ADB tutorial. It's a very short other video. You don't even probably need to watch the video, but if you'd like to, it's there, um, but it takes about five minutes to do. And essentially we're just going to download the installer and run it so that it installs ADB and Fastboot and all the drivers that we might need. And after that, we can plug the phone in via its USB cable and let it install the drivers. Then we can download the recovery and super SU files that we need. So click this link here on my site underneath this video and super SU as well. After that, we can head to our downloads folder if that's where it automatically saves it for you. And we need to move both of these two files from in there to our ADB folder that's inside our C drive, which was created whenever you did the tutorial for ADB. So we're gonna pull that over, make sure it's in the same place as ADB and Fastboot. After that, we can hold down shift and right click anywhere that's blank inside that folder and then hit open command window here. And we're gonna type ADB devices and it should show us the device. Uh, if it does say unauthorized, then you need to look at the phone screen and tap allow. Uh, and then it should say device when you type ADB devices again. After that, we can type ADB push super su dot zip SD card super su dot zip. So this is gonna push that super su dot zip file to the storage of the device. I know it says SD card, but that's just what Android calls its storage. It's not actually an SD card necessarily. Hit enter and it should say that it pushed that. We're gonna go ADB, reboot bootloader, and hit enter. Wait for the phone to reboot into bootloader mode. And then we're gonna type fastboot flash recovery, base recovery.img and hit enter. If you get stuck at waiting for device, you can then head to my site below, click download on the HTC drivers, save that to your computer, and once it's done, we're gonna open it. And at this point, unplug the device, keeping it in fast boot mode, but unplug it for now while all of this installs. Once it's done, plug the phone back in and it should finish. If it didn't automatically just finish what it was doing, you can simply type in fastboot flash recovery recovery.img again and hit enter again. And now this time it should say finish like it does here. After that on the phone, we can then reboot into recovery mode by pushing volume down a few times to get to boot to recovery mode and power to select it. Eventually you'll get to this screen uh, telling us uh, Eventually we'll get to the screen, ask you if you wanna keep the system read only, we don't. So we're going to swipe to allow. Then the very first thing we are going to do is tap backup and swipe that just in case. Once that's done, we're gonna hit back, back again. And now we're gonna tap install, scroll all the way down and you should see super SU down here at the bottom. We're gonna tap on that and swipe to confirm and wait for it to flash. Once that's done, we can tap reboot system and wait for it to reboot. Then once the device reboots, uh, we should have root access. To check that though, you can go to the Play Store and download an app called Root Checker and then open it and tap verify root. Should pop up with a super user request. We're gonna say grant and it'll tell you that you are rooted. There you go, you're rooted, have a custom recovery 
and can go on to do any number of things, including flashing custom ROMs, which are a lot of fun. Uh, if you want to do any of that, though, click the link below to be taken to my site where I have a really cool ROM repository filled with ROMs for a lot of devices, and you can sort by device and other uh, facets as well. I also have a video on how exactly to flash a ROM regardless of the device you have. So check that out. Uh, otherwise, uh, let me know if you guys have any issues with this tutorial. Don't write them in the comments on YouTube, though. They don't notify me when you do that. So please click the link below to be taken to the article on my site where you can comment there, and I'll try to help you as best I can. If you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. It's greatly appreciated. And if you want more videos like this, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, thanks for watching.